Hey everyone, how's it going? Update on this. They finished closing up the walls. It's nighttime already. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't, have, couldn't get a video done prior to the sun going down because I had to install my conduit in this wall. You can see right there. They got all the rebar in. They got all their threads sticking up for framing later on they're gonna go ahead and drill holes in the framing and then slip that through and put a put a washer and nut good all that good stuff to attach it to to the concrete itself see that there they got that going around there so when it comes to concrete itself see how much wood they utilized it's, it's a lot of a lot of wood because concrete is very heavy so once the concrete starts flowing it's a done deal if it blows out you know good luck on trying to trying to save that wall because it's not worth it so when it comes to excess material you're going to see that when it comes down to forming for concrete it's it's worth it it's not worth the blowout and all the headaches of scheduling concrete getting all the guys ready for the concrete and all the other good good stuff so can see here they got their nine degree bands coming around about over three feet when it comes to splicing for rebar it's about three feet essentially when they when they tag onto this later on when they do the slab and come across so we got going they got that going we got stairs coming up here you can see they got threads sticking through here too and there and there and there so it can attach to the the wood that's going to be essentially starting off the, the stairs. So um, let's keep going with my conduit. So when I did the layout for the conduit, I got this drain pipe right here. I wanted to go underneath it, but I also didn't want to ride, I didn't want to ride the floor. I wanted to be above the bottom layer of rebar. So I did the measurement off this string line that they got going on, transfer that measurement over to here. And you can see down there, I take my bell end. So in some cases, we we'll drill a hole through the form and stub out the conduit. But judging from how how much room we have later on, obviously after we pour pour this wall, we're gonna have to remove all this wood and pry it back. So just to alleviate the issue, and the other thing was, I ended up being right here with my mark set. So it's on two by four. So. I would have to drill a pretty big hole, go through all the all that wood and stub it out. And then when it comes to them demoing this wall, it's going to be a pain in the butt. So I utilized the bell end of, of the PVC there and taped it up. So once they pull this wall out, I can dig up the, or make a little hole into the, the duct tape and then clean it out really nice and just glue on another piece. So the bell end is huge because coupling like this, Kind of hard for you to see that but that coupling right there doesn't really give you that much of a bite especially if you're transitioning from concrete a very rigid wall to over here and once i do that i'm gonna have to offset this pipe down to the rebar and tie it off or build up to it to keep it nice and rigid but you can see i did 190 here and then i did a back-to-back -back 90 down there to get this to kind of go down that way. I strapped the 90 over there. You can see the tie wire. And then I strapped it on that piece of wood right underneath it there. So that's going to continue on. I'm gonna to transition to EMT and tag on to my, exist my existing pipe right there on that wall. So it should be a pretty smooth transition depending on how the framing goes or whatnot, but it should be pretty solid here. Um, so that's that when it comes down to that. So I got 190, 290s there as I come this way. I'm gonna have another 90 with a which is just another 90 to go up into the wall later on once they form that up. So all together, you can have only 360 degrees of bend. So I'm gonna this gonna this is gonna be a cross space right where that this whole pad is at it's gonna be a big cross space so I'm gonna be able to 
utilize either a junction box or a C condolet that's going to restart my 360 degrees of bend. All right, so I'm gonna go down to the lower area now. Let me give you another view of this. As you can see, they got all these guys tied in here. They'll, they'll adjust this tomorrow morning before concrete comes. But yeah, they're gonna have to line this all up, level it out. I've seen people utilize aluminum foil to protect the threads from the concrete. But that's that there. So you can see they form this wall there. And then they did this lower lower area as well. You can see that. And then they did that side on the opposite end too. There you go. So I believe they're just gonna pour up to where the wood is. And then I mean there's gonna be a little axis coming out of the sides, you know. But it'll be alright. So what I mean is when they pour it, see if I can get the light right. They're gonna have excess come out from the sides here. And then they're just gonna try to keep it all contained within this middle area here. But that's just how it is. So that's a little area here. It's gonna have some extra excess coming up onto the dirt here. But it should be alright. We're just gonna fill it in the middle, use a vibrator to to kind of get the concrete to kind of go around all the rebar and everything else that needs to to go around and then same with right this area right here um, in between the wall and the dirt here they're gonna fill that up with concrete as well so and that's it right there the, the other problem we're gonna have is you can see we're at the back of the house you see there's a long tunnel down that way but they're gonna pull most likely they're gonna pull a hose and pump the concrete with a long hose to bring it all the way back here to get it in here. And then they'll finish the concrete and let it dry. Once it dries, I'll go ahead and waterproof it. And then um, in the meantime, they'll be, you can see they kind of started all their verticals. They got this wood going across already here. They haven't done this one yet. They got that one going across. They got that going all the way around. Let's go look at that real quick before I end this video trying to keep the progress as much as I can for you guys and they kind of laid out you see the marks on the on the 2x6 there Did some layout but they go all the way around over there run across so they actually did get them out of work you got that going there Transition here. Almost there. So they'll do this one side first. They almost got this end done. I'm assuming they left this end because obviously, like I said, eventually, eventually they're gonna have to demo this wall out. And then when they pull that wall out, you don't wanna have this piece of wood right here blocking you. So everything will come out, they'll pull the whole thing out and be good to go anyways that's an update on this still progressing concrete comes tomorrow we'll get this lower threshold poured let it cure waterproof it finish the top section i'll run my conduit from here out to get underneath that drain pipe and then stub up into the wall where i want my panel to be and then i'll also tie in my youth for ground so you'll see that video all right stay tuned